We can use GeoPoly to turn a polygon circular. To do this, you'll want to insert the face you'd like the circle to be and create the supporting loops so we can have enough vertices. Then we want to delete the face to remove the unwanted loops so we can use GeoPoly on it to turn it circular. This is an older technique, but still useful to know. Create supporting loops to define where you want the circular shape, and then chamfer the center. Hit tessellate so we have enough edges. To round the shape, use the Spherify modifier on the outer vertices. This time we're going to use loop tools. Tessellate the face so we have enough vertices to create a circle, then delete the face and select the surrounding edges so we can use the circle option on the loop tools menu. Use a spline to create the shape you want in your mesh and align it to your mesh. Now, apply the Shape Merge modifier from the Compound Objects tab and pick your spline. Selecting the cookie cutter operation in the rollout will delete the face for you. We can select the spline and change its parameters while our mesh is under the effects of Shape Merge. To finalize, convert the mesh to Edit Poly and delete the stray vert that the operation has created. Intersect the shape you want to cut out, then apply a Pro Boolean modifier to your mesh. Select Subtraction under the Parameters rollout, then pick your shape to create the hole. To create a hole using splines, select the surrounding edges of the polygon you wish to change, then right click to access the contextual menu. Select Create Shape, making sure it is set to Linear, then hit OK. Now we want to create the shape for our hole. I have Auto Grid on so I can draw at the same angle as our created shape. For a smoother result, I've upped the interpolation on the spline parameters. We now need to attach these two shapes together, which requires the donut shape to be converted to an editable spline, so we can access the attach option under the geometry tab. To create the geo, convert the attach splines to edit poly. Align the polygon or spline shape with your mesh to where you want the hole to be. Under your snaps menu, make sure the vertex snap is selected. Now we can trace the created shape using the cut tool with snap turned on.